So today's subject is should Zach meet Cloud and the other party members in Rebirth? The short answer is yes. Zach meeting the party members from the 1997 game, the original Final Fantasy VII, would mean that Zach could be a playable character or be switched around with characters like Barrett or Vincent or Ares. And for those of us who loved Crisis Core Reunion, this will be a gladly welcome condition. On the other hand, if Rebirth is spent with us seeing Zack, but not able to actually control him, watching him impact the story, especially in a major way, and that seems to be what they're building to, or just having him as a AI controlled party member, I imagine most of the Crisis Core fans, and many of the Final Fantasy VII fans who know about Zack from the original game won't be satisfied. To bring Zack back from the dead and to make a huge emphasis on Zack being alive, both in a remake and at the end of Integrate to the point where the timeline had to be split and then put even more emphasis on it by telling us to buy the remake version of Crisis Core so that fans know more about Zack's story, but then only reduce Zack to being watchable in Rebirth and not meet up with the party? That would be absurd. While I understand that some fans feel like Zack being alive changes Cloud, I made a whole video on why it really doesn't. And you can click this video here to see why it, I said it does not. Also, having Zack and Cloud fighting together in the same party can make for a more emotionally satisfying experience throughout the game because it's like literally, not like, it's literally having two iconic protagonists to choose from at the same time and to have them both in the same party. Not only does Zach add more in terms of being a party member and bringing his special moves to the cast, Zach also would open up a lot of what if story scenes. Zach could pop up and stop Ares' death from happening. Cloud can be in the middle of talking about the calm flashback and Zach shows up and says that's not what happens. Imagine Zach coming up to Ares and treating her like his girlfriend after what we understand from Crisis Core was four years. Remember, she's wearing the pink. That's why she was wearing that pink. It was their symbol of their reunion. However, and uh, you'll remember, as you can see on the screen here, that when Ares met with Cloud, what did she say? Right. So Ares said to him flat out, uh, this is a flower for those couples who, you know, reunite who are lovers. She's saying this to Cloud while she's got this pink in her hair for her as ex um, return. So you can imagine the type of tension that can build there. Or Zach seeing uh, Tiffa and talking to Barrett. There are so many creative things and liberties that the writers have to make some very interesting scenarios with these iconic characters. And with Final Fantasy VII characters at this point, they're so iconic, you can do side missions with them as long as we're not chasing cats, and you're gonna have a pretty good time. Also, with Zack being on the crew, we can create new side stories, right? With Zack and the cloud and the party that can be introduced to Rebirth where they do extra missions to get extra materia or extra weapons. You will also remember that at the end of Final Fantasy VII Remake, that when they get towards the end, Aerie said part of that boundless freedom that she talked about can literally be having Zack play an intricate role in the game by meeting with the party members and adding all of these extra elements or building up the original events of Final Fantasy uh, 7. On the other hand, if the devs and writers are brave enough to take the terrifying responsibility of trying to explain to a whole fandom while they put all of this emphasis on Zack and him not being a, a playable character, it's I don't think the Red 13 treatment that happened in Final Fantasy 7 Remake is going to uh, work for Rebirth. And I think if they do try to do it, we're going to get some strange, revy, unforgiving scores on Metacritic. And there will be some angry fans making long reviews about how Square Enix messed up. Daruna. Oh. 
またすぐに会えるさ絶対だぞ。